communicating with an LA County helicopter here to get them, get them over here to help out, but we're continuing south. You can see how fast we're going through traffic here, just passing people, oh, oh goodness, just kind of weaving right uh -huh. there, as you can see, oh man. That's the problem when they go on too fast, these guys start out driving their talent and they uh, get that, that little move going where they're going between, uh, going through uh, the traffic and then they weave around, then they lose the back end of that vehicle and it starts weaving on them. And we're continuing on here uh, as we're continuing uh, here southbound, approaching the uh, Rio Hondo River uh, as we continue down here into Downey area. And we're passing the Rio Honda River now, guys. Passing Rio Honda River. And Tim, and do we, we have do we have a, a, a police behind him? Do we have some uh, black and whites behind him at this at this pace, or is this uh, just being tracked right now? Oh, there well, they are. There's the undercover. I yeah, see. they're they're back there trying to keep up with it. And what I'm doing, uh, I'm being asked by the LA City and also County uh, helicopters where we're at. So we're the only one on this right now. Uh, keeping track of it. The undercover cars is doing everything he can to stay up with this guy. And we're going to get the uh, air units in here. Once you get the lights on it from the air unit, that's going to help that guy on the ground. And as we continue here, we're uh, coming through, coming up the Paramount here. Oh, just, oh, man, I can't believe he's uh, keeping control of this car at the speeds he's running as we continue south on the 5 freeway, coming up the Paramount. And uh, as we come down here, actually Lakewood Rosemead is one we're coming up on, and he uh, just flying, man. And he looks like he might have blacked out there for a second. But the as we continue here, now we're through uh, uh, Paramount Rosemead, and the next here will be the 605 freeway uh, as we work our way down uh, here, continuing on excess of uh, 100 miles an hour here, using all lanes as we work our way along. It'll be a 605 uh, interchange coming up here in a second. TV5 is approaching 605 at 1200 South 5. And as we continue on here, just uh, using all lanes, and like I said, I'm trying to coordinate with the LA County at 21 TV5. We're just coming up on the 605 here. It looks like we might be taking South 605 standby. And he weaved out, and we're co committed South 5 through the 605. And uh, uh, Negative, no police ships overhead, just two undercovers following. And you hear Tim Lynn uh, discussing the situation with law enforcement. As he mentioned a moment ago, Sky 5, the only helicopter over this pursuit at the moment, the law enforcement uh, trying to catch up, essentially. What we have is undercover LAPD pursuing what's being described as an armed suspect in a red Mustang, as Tim's been reporting, north of 100 miles an hour southbound on the Fry Freeway. This originated, uh, best we know at this point, in the Boyle Heights, East okay, Los Angeles 13. area. Uh, and the pursuit continues, it's Tim. be a crash up here because they going to... I'm sorry, Mike. I'm trying to listen to the uh, helicopters behind me coming in. He's, we're coming into an area of the 5 Freeway that's construction, and it's going to make a little weave up here. And if he's at this speed, it's going to be tough for him to make that uh, that move. I mean, even at freeway speeds, it is tough to stay on that uh, that turn. But we'll see what happens when he gets down here. It's coming up here now as he weaves over to the right shoulder, passing traffic, uh, coming down into the Orange County area here. We'll be in Orange County here uh, in another couple ramps. But it looks like he's slowing, slowing down. Oh, he's on the brakes, on the brakes, getting off. Looks like, uh, yeah, off the, off the freeway, getting off the freeway. All right, and everybody, thank you so much for joining us here for the 11 o'clock hour of the KTLA 5 News. We are here on breaking news right now of a high-speed police chase now in Downey, just getting off the southbound 5 freeway okay, guys, and making its way Imperial, through westbound, uh, westbound Surface Imperial. Street. Surface streets. Uh, it literally just got off the, the freeway if you're just joining us. Um, it was going north of, uh, as Mike had mentioned just a moment ago, uh, and, and Tim has clocked in his helicopter north of 100 miles per hour. There you see the red Mustang um, on the on the road, just crossing that intersection right. there. Uh, and it, you know we were seeing him weave in and out uh, on the freeway, and is uh, almost hitting several cars at, at a very high speed. But now it seems like he seems to think that maybe nobody's on yeah, him right now. Yeah, I still got to be so West yeah, Imperial, about West two Imperial blocks, uh, Highway, okay, west so of the uh, freeway. Yeah, Go west on, of the five freeway, uh, westbound on Imperial Highway. Uh, is what we're hearing, and uh, this. Okay, Mike. Yeah, go ahead, Tim. Hey, Mike, you guys stay with it. We're going to yep. try to put the uh, pleading ship on it here.
You got it. So what you're seeing now in real time is the coordination that exists on a daily basis between media helicopters and law enforcement in situations like this. Uh, we happened to get over this before law enforcement and Tim is essentially guiding uh, law enforcement airships in to join this pursuit. What we had initially was undercover LAPD officers in pursuit of this armed suspect. We believe they are still behind him. Uh, they were requesting additional units and help from L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Had it stayed on the freeway, obviously CHP likely would have moved in. But at this point, LAPD remains the, the lead agency in this pursuit. Again, an armed suspect. This Mustang was going for the majority of this pursuit. The last 15 minutes, we've been seeing it, 10 minutes maybe, over 100 miles an hour southbound on the 5 out yeah. of East L.A. A very precarious situation for a lot of those uh, uh, drivers on the freeway who couldn't see this coming uh, their way when he was driving that fast. He's still at a very high rate of speed here. Uh, in the Norwalk area on surface streets. We do understand that there is an undercover um, uh, a car that is following yeah, detectives, following him. Uh, not at the moment any black and whites. Um, and, and as we got to this pursuit, Tim being the only helicopter over it right now, trying to get uh, law enforcement to track him as well. He's just got a passenger that bailed right there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, at least, uh, so we've got the driver, we've got at least one passenger who, as you just mentioned, foot bailed, and you can see him running there, but I'm not sure law enforcement is up there uh, close enough uh, to be able to make a play on that accomplice, but you've got the driver now who is obviously uh, the target for law enforcement, uh, the primary target. Uh, and with the media helicopters overhead, uh, we will likely be able to uh, at least keep an eye or somewhat of an eye on that person that jumped out. But the, the, the uh, undercover officers uh, have not seen them make that U-turn share. It was westbound Imperial, so now presumably eastbound Imperial about to make a, a turn southbound. Can't get the street here. Tim, if you're with us, us. You can guide us on yeah. the location of this, um, or are you still yeah, busy? He's on Studebaker now, southbound from Firestone. The sheriff's helicopter just got overhead. We had to direct him in on it. So now we got law enforcement aviation over the head. And uh, they're now southbound Studebaker here from uh, Firestone. So as we continue on here, he uh, now has law enforcement with him. No ground units are here. So now this uh, helicopter will be able to. Uh, uh, notify the agencies around and also the uh, different uh, departments that we're going through here uh, to where this guy's at. Now, there's no ground units on him, and so this helicopter, the, the sheriff's helicopter that's overhead now is going to go ahead and uh, take uh, charge of it and get everybody in. So good for them. Uh, he outran everybody on the ground and got down here, tried to just kind of drive slow and blend in, but uh, we were here to be able to direct those uh, uh, media or the uh, PD helicopter is in. So here we go, still southbound Sudebaker. And uh, we'll see what the next intersection is he's coming up on. It, it Tim, coming up quickly, on Rosecrans uh, here. Did, so, I, I'm assuming uh, you yeah, saw the, very, the uh, passenger jump out of the car. I just want to get that I in. I did not. I was, I was doing whatever I could to keep an eye on the car and then keep an eye on the helicopters coming in so okay so as we here make it a turn here so it was at that new ahead, turn Michael. on imperial where the where the uh passenger jumped out just uh, just before the mustang made the u-turn on imperial you had a passenger jump out and essentially yeah. what you're seeing here is uh, is what we have now what we believe to be just a driver in this car at this point described as armed yeah. tim do we know what the one is this, all we know is it was undercover uh, or unmarked vehicles from LAPD uh, got in behind it. They said it was armed. Oh, man, almost got that car right there. Uh, it was an armed suspect in the car, high rate of speed. And they were trying to get black and whites to get behind it. Uh, but apparently he saw them behind him and took off up there on Cesar Chavez and got on the 710, took Cesar Chavez all the way across East L.A., got on that southbound 710. And you saw it as we picked it up here. Uh, turning uh, south on the 5 freeway. So right now it's an armed suspect only that we know right now. And I don't know the want, if there's wants on the vehicle itself, but right now he's got a laundry list of charges against him. Now you see the speed is picking back up as the uh, L.A. Uh, Sheriff's helicopter here is calling the pursuit as we work our way uh, back uh, westbound here. And we're coming into, let's see, we'll get the intersections here as we come through. Uh, next intersection, he's coming up on our green. Luckily, he's going to blast right through that. And that's Bellflower. He just went through. Now he's going to get into a tighter area here. As we continue here on, I believe it's Rosecrans that we're on, through Bellflower, 
uh, very high rate of speed. He's going to make a little right or left hand turn here. And we're going to get down at some more traffic ahead of him here as cross traffic. And that's the dangerous part of this is when he's going these speeds on the surface streets uh, and then uh, making these turns around here and then coming through the intersections. But uh, coming up here on the turn and, and turning back to the north is good. Huh? Columbia Street is we're on now. And there's just happens to be some uh, black and whites there on a traffic stop uh, on Columbia. Now he's made it back into the res track here and working his way around now. Van Root is the street he's on now in uh, this little residential area. I think he saw those black and whites and decided he didn't want to get anywhere near them. And uh, now in the neighborhood, make another left-hand turn here. And I'm trying to listen to the uh, LA Sheriff's helicopter make the call, but you see him fishtailing as he goes around those corners. I mean, he's really staying with his car. So eventually at the brakes and the tires are gonna start getting overheated on this and he's gonna start losing traction and losing braking uh, power. As and he is sure, he's on Shermaine coming up to Foster here, and we'll see what he does when he gets to this intersection on the brakes, making the right turn back uh, eastbound, and that's Foster. This will take him back over here, I believe, to Washington is the street. Uh, I'm looking ahead here, but we'll keep an eye on it here and let the sheriffs make the call on it. But right now we have two uh, helicopters now, one from LAPD and one from uh, LA uh, sheriffs over this. And now we're continuing on here back to the north. Huh? Making his way back. through Bellflower right now. Um, as yeah. you saw, they're going through a residential neighborhood, which probably could have given him, him that opportunity to foot bail. Um, but now still making his way through uh, the uh, surface streets and uh, kind of, in a sense, going into a, a big, large circle in a way. Yeah. Um, trying to evade police, which clearly is not going to happen now that we've got a sheriff's um, helicopter yeah, and the night sun off over north. him on Bellflower going north. Yeah, north uh, coming up north on Bellflower through that intersection just blasted through. And this is taking us back up towards the 5 freeway. And uh, so he, yeah, he's just going to work his way through traffic here. It's getting kind of tight. He's going to have to force his way through. There are, well, okay, here comes a black and white unit behind it, finally catching up the first uh, uh, marked black and white we have with overhead. And uh, continue on uh, uh, here as he northbound on uh, Bellflower. And uh, hold on one second, I need to let the air units know. You said that was Imperial and Rosecrans where the uh, person got out, we made the U-turn. Yeah, I can't I say for right. sure that it was Rosecrans. It was about a mile west of the 5 freeway on Imperial. Just, to, I mean, it, that may have been Rosecrans as he made the U-turn. That's where the passenger bailed. We'll have video of that yep. momentarily that we'll put up and show you. Uh, but again, this suspect, what we know at this point is he is armed. We do not know what the want is. Authorities uh, have been pursuing this suspect uh, out of the Boyle Heights, East Los Angeles area, southbound on the 5 freeway. Uh, this happened maybe, oh, 15, 20 minutes ago. It started uh, high rates of speed on the freeway uh, all the way down the 5 south uh, down into the Downey area where the suspect got off the freeway on Imperial Highway, had been driving north of 100 miles an hour for much of that run south on the 5. And he has at this point been doing a dance on surface streets, driving erratically, as you see, blowing through stop signs, blowing through red lights. As far as we know, the driver, the only person in this car. But again, the want, we still do not know. But the long list of charges continues to grow for this suspect in this red Mustang. Yes, and um, as uh, Micah mentioned, we were going to get that video for you of the passenger foot bailing from that car. This on Imperial Highway, about a mile uh, from the southbound 5 freeway. There you see the suspect running out over to the corner. And then you'll see that, uh, that sorry, the passenger rather, uh, run across across the street um, of that intersection as well. So uh, unclear to tell if it's a man or a woman just because it's dark. Uh, then he made that U-turn there uh, with no uh, you know, undercover detective car behind him. Uh, it was shortly after that he made that U-turn that um, Sky 5 and Tim Lynn was able to direct um, the sheriff's helicopter and, and put the night sun onto this red Mustang um, that we've been watching uh, in this pursuit for about 15 minutes now out of Boyle Heights. But uh, again, there on uh, screen right, you see 
uh, a passenger foot bail from the car. And shortly after this, Micah, we saw yeah, was, um, some items being bad. thrown out of the mm -hmm. car as well. It was unclear what was being thrown out, but it seemed uh, like he was throwing some things, trying to get rid of whatever might be in there that could possibly get him into further uh, trouble. A law. loose description of that passenger, a thin male uh, with blue jeans and white tennis shoes uh, and uh, some sort of a red windbreaker and a hat. That's the description. That's what we see from our helicopter as we showed you the video. But the chase continues both from the air and from the ground. You have a black and white behind this what's being described as an armed suspect in this Mustang uh, that has been going uh, on surface streets now for the last 10 minutes or so uh, and uh, blacking out the lights at times as well. Obviously yeah. not what you want to see, particularly on surface streets, driving the way this person is driving um, late at night or any time, frankly, after sundown is, is a high level of danger for there. pedestrians, for cross traffic. Tim, uh, it seems as though this driver's sort of going in a, in a circle here as though he's familiar with the area. Yeah, it kind of looks that way. He's the first time we, we've seen him uh, get into a residential track and start uh, doing the circle dance here, getting in the alleys, turning off his lights. But he's got two air units over the top of him. Uh, uh, we, uh, and, okay, he turned back to the uh, Wester. And like I said, he, he's going to run for ground. And, and like I said, if we can keep an eye uh, mark on those uh, the tape where they dumped out all that information all that uh, stuff out of the car I'll go ahead and relay that to them once this comes to an end and they can go back and search the area because they could have thrown out uh, weapons and we uh, don't want weapons laying on the street where somebody else could pick them up and uh, harm harm themselves but right now he's just doing the circle here through uh, the area we're just uh, I'm gonna say west of Paramount and uh, uh, south of uh, Slauson uh, or actually Florence so he's just in that neighborhood here, and as we work our way around, we're in the uh, Bell Gardens Downey area uh, here, just kind of working our way around. So I'm just going to kind of hold up here and just kind of watch him because what they do is they start getting in these alleys, and he's going to bail out here just from our, from our, uh, you know, just watching these things. Yeah, right there, car comes to an end. He's up under a tree. Oh, I've got an undercover car right behind him. That's yeah. great. And yeah, so they've been. There you go. There you go. Good job, guys. Uh, got him in the alley here, and he's got one out there you see laying on his uh, stomach in the uh, street. And we're going to get the, over here to the little bit to the uh, south to try to be able to see the uh, uh, driver. If that is the driver, it could very well be the driver bail that's starting to run. But uh, we'll just kind of keep an eye on it here until we get the code 4 from the uh, folks on the ground here. But you see one undercover there. They were trying their best to stay up with us. The guys were doing everything they could to stay with it until they got air assets overhead but uh, luckily we were able to help out and uh, we're hearing i'm listening to the sheriff's helicopter and the lapd helicopter uh, talking and what they're saying is as we're on that backside that was blocked by that garage that a, a male got out of the uh, driver's seat in white t-shirt and went into those apartments just to the uh, right uh, screen right of that car and they're kind of keeping an eye on that so uh, apparently i guess the driver may have bailed out and Unless they had two people in here dressed exactly the same, I have to agree with you. you know, the, the description is exactly the same. Uh, we didn't see him make a stop and pick up a, a pedestrian any time during this pursuit. So uh, it's just un, unusual that you have uh, people like that uh, dressed the same. But you can see right there how he's, uh, uh, taking, uh, he's taking him over there underneath the uh, awning. So that's kind of hard for us to see. And we'll see right down here if he's down in this area. That's where they're concentrating their light at. And hopefully... Uh, uh, they have him, but yeah, I'm hearing them on the air saying they have two at gunpoint, and they do have the uh, subject in the white shirt here, pinned down. Tim, how far are you from Imperial Highway? Uh, I'm going to have to turn around here and look. I've been out the been on the monitor pretty much here, uh, watching. Let me turn around to get a little uh, bearings here for you. Let me. Uh, yeah, you're going to have. Just south of, yeah, just south of Florence and just uh, uh, west of. Uh, uh, I believe it was a Paramount. So, yeah, Imperial is a little further north from here. So, and just we'll trying to, to find piece it suspect. together. I mean, you've got the, the first yeah. guy they got there and is most likely that passenger that we saw foot bail and some sort of a coordination between the passenger yeah, and the driver, yes. and they met up again in this alley. Is that Yeah, how, yeah uh, that's probably what happened, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I, I don't think we're no, we're a long ways from. But he was that was right at the 605 freeway, uh, uh, right at the 605 freeway where that uh, passenger got out. He made that U-turn, and we're probably 
uh, I'd say a good uh, two miles from the 605 freeway to the uh, west. So uh, I, I don't, it, I got a feeling that two people with uh, red sweatshirts wow. in here. So three uh, you know, total then. Uh, yeah. yeah, three total. And yeah, he definitely got out and ran, as you saw on that sure. on the video from here. But uh, right now uh, they got two here, they got the car. And that's a, a good thing here because we want to make sure that, you know, I, I do is at least want to make sure this guy stops before he hurts uh, an innocent civilian. So uh, we're going to try to reload this and figure out exactly where everything got dumped out. And I'll notify the uh, the uh, sheriff's department down here to go back and check the area where you said you saw stuff come out of a window. But mm. uh, right now we're looking down into this apartment complex. And I'm trying to find the guy in the white shirt that they said he have in custody. But, uh, you know, this is a very <laughs> fluid, dynamic thing. Five's going over top of nine or four. And uh, you can see right here down in the alley. Uh, I'm trying to see if they have him in the alley here. But right now, uh, I, don't, I don't see it. All right, Tim Lynn and Sky Five will continue to track this. If there are any developments right that warrant further coverage, we will bring them to you. Darren Horton with Sports Final. He's been waiting patiently. <laughs> That's right. Uh, big night in baseball.